growing up, my aunts and uncles made bows, flint and that, made basketry and everything. I went and talked to my uncle, and he was chipping, making arrowheads. I said, I'd like to learn how to do that. And you know, he never even stopped. He just kept chipping like he never even heard me. So real lightly, you know, gently, he laid everything down. And he said, why should I teach you? And I said, well, I just think it's fascinating. And I said, you know, that's kind of a part of who we are. And I, you know, and that's what I would like to learn, you know? And, and he said, okay. He said, well, but it'll cost you. He said, if I teach you, then return. He said, you have to teach someone else. So that's the way I have lived my whole life. My name is Perry Van Buskirk, and I originally came from Rocky Ford. I have spent my life learning about Native American weapons, Cherokee culture, history, and actually how traditions was made within the Cherokees. But I actually got my national treasure in 2004, which was for bow making. And uh, I just kind of carried the legacy on through all these years until now. The simplicity of all of these weapons and everything that, that we had, but they're still so effective even nowadays that, you know, it just, it just amazes me. The elders is the ones that taught me. I got to analyze it from all aspects, from my aspect, from my aspect of the elders and all, is like, what would they be thinking? What would they be doing? How would they use this? That's, that's how I kind of base everything. Even when I'm sitting there working on something, I'm sitting there thinking, maybe part of my ancestors was sitting here doing this very same thing, you know. I started with flint napping. Somewhere or another, someone figured out that you could actually build a device to throw these spears, and that was actually the birth of what we call the ad -lattel. And then the bow and arrow. going to show you a few of the things that I've done and well first time people come here and they start scanning everything around they start looking and thinking I wonder what that is the war clubs and stuff they was actually made as we say in different manners to do one thing and one thing only that was to kill so when I pick it up and I start it's just like I'll just start one end of it, and next thing I know, when I get to the other end, I have to look at it myself. You know, my wife, she is a basket maker. Kathy, like I said, she got her National Treasure Award the same time I did. We was actually the, the second husband and wife that actually ever received the National Treasure in the same year together. Hey, boy, come here. If my family's carrying it on, then I need to carry it on because this was a deal that was made to me. Tell them hi. All material things, everything can go away. But you know, my children and grandchildren is everything to me. Now I've got my grandkids right here next to me. So a lot of this stuff that I make, like the blow guns, the rock slingers, this and that, we'll get out here and we compete all the time, which it teaches them to become good and accurate at it because in their mind is they want to beat Papa. It's teaching them a skill that they won't, won't ever forget. 
This is my whole world right here. These kids have been taught all of this stuff. They pretty well know how to do it too. We're gonna throw this away uh, 7,500 yards over there. Hopefully this ball will hit. So here we go. That's probably close to 100 yards right there. So when I make something, I mean, I involve all my family. I mean, and when I figure something out and get it, it's almost like I've got that excitement, as these kids would. It's like I can't wait to run in. I'll tell my wife, you got to come out and see this. You got to come out and watch this, you know, and the family. And then these girls will come over. Tell them, you got to come over here. I got to show you something. Boy, they come over here and they're like, wow, wow. So the next thing you know, then we're all out here doing it. Most people nowadays can relate to these, as we'll say, blow guns, because most people have seen them. The white that you see on the end of that, that's the down of the thistle, Scottish thistle. The oldest girl, Leah, with a blow gun, she can probably out, out shoot the rest of them, you know, maybe even out shoot me. We were showing her you know, how to hunt with the blow gun. So I took her out and we just went right here behind us and we there was rabbits, you know, and I'd sneak up through there, you know, and then I'd motion her and here she'd come, you know, she'd sneak, teaching her how to sneak up on them. And, you know, by the time we got up there in shooting range, I looked down and she'd actually kicked her shoes off. Papa, she said, I figured out as I was coming up through there, if I kick my shoes off, I can walk quieter. She said, I can walk softer and quieter. She said, so they won't hear me. That kind of excited and amazed me that, you know, she, she done that, you know, thought of that. I want to know everything that I possibly could about who we are, where we came from, the story behind turkeys. If I learn it, then pass it on to someone else because that's the way we, we keep this alive and, and you know, we keep this, as we'll say, going as long as we're going to be here on this earth.